song. You look so happy. Why? The result of the college entrance exam have come out. I got a really good grade. 70 great points in total. Well, congratulations, that's impressive. Thanks. How about you, Miranda? Oh, my is over. I got only 45 great points in total. What happened? You were studying so hard. You deserve a better grade. Yeah, I've decided to go to the Crown School in the city to prepare for next year's college entrance exam. The educational resources in the rural school are not sufficient for me. That's so depressing. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are from Global Ground Laboratory School. And we are from Itsmeikan Junior and Senior High School. We're going to discuss the issue of quality education. To begin with, let's take a look at the definition of quality education. According to the definition of United Nations, quality education is to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and to promote Lifelong learning opportunities for all. Today, we want to focus on the problem of urban-rural education gap. We want to point out that the solution to this problem is the key to the realization of quality education. Before we begin, these are the four parts of our presentation. Current situations, problem and causes, solutions, and conclusion. We discovered this problem is worldwide. All of us are guaranteed the same access to education. But the education we receive is not the same. You mentioned that this problem is worldwide. What makes you so sure of it? Let's take a look at this chart. It is from PISA statistics in 2013. These nations are listed in the order of PISA scores. The nations, including Japan and Taiwan, all encounter the same problem of urban rural education gap. As you can see, urban students have much greater academic performances than rural students. I noticed the red lines. What do they stand for? The red lines stand for the average within performance of urban students in each country. The yellow lines indicate the average within performance of rural students. As you can see, the gap between the average with the performance of urban student and that of rural student is wide. I've never told that so many countries are faced with this kind of education gap. Not only that, according to the PISA statistics, the gap of 20 PISA score points is equal to the difference of half a year's schooling. You say rural students fall behind with their studies by six months than urban students, right? Exactly. But what is more alarming is that the gap in Taiwan is wider than 50 score points, which is equal to the difference of one year's schooling. I also noticed that the situation in Japan is not good. As the chair, learning performance of a Japanese rural high school student is about the level of a junior high school student in urban school. But what would be the consequences of the gap? The consequences are that urban students can be more, comp more competitive and better competitive while rural students who can only exhibit basic literacy. Um, and that will make them trapped at the bottom of the social hierarchy. It is really sad to learn of such a disturbing fact. I think we have to know the causes of the urban rural education gap since we are all students guaranteed to have the same access to education. Well, there are three main reasons that cause the education gap. The first one is the lack of educational resources. Urban schools have more advanced hardware and software equipment and has higher possibility of extending their reaches. The second cause is the dysfunctional family. Most students in rural areas come from a working class family. Your parents are usually obliged to work in big cities, leaving them behind with their grandparents. You're likely to wander around or to help with the chores after school and are not motivated in learning. The third cause is a shortage of qualified teachers in rural areas. Rural schools have difficulties keeping qualified teachers, mostly due to the inconveniences of living and public transportation. Then, as high school students, what can we do to solve these problems? 
can begin with the strategic alliance of sister schools. You mean it's just like the concept of in 